Hey everyone, it's Jeff from New York and we are back at the Grand Canyon. This is video two of a four video series. We're about five hours outside of Las Vegas. If you missed the first video on the Grand Canyon, no worries, you can check it out at your convenience. There's no need to do these in order. Once the four Grand Canyon videos are posted, we're going to head back to Vegas to check out more casinos and goings on down there. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Notice no guardrails on the right. I get the same eerie feeling here that I do on a subway platform, like someone's either going to push me from behind or I'm going to slip and fall on the tracks, um, which is probably less dangerous than slipping and falling or being pushed from behind at the Grand Canyon. That is a big drop that you're most likely not going to survive. By the way, the pathway we're walking on is called the Rim Trail. We're coming up on the Kolb Studio, and few buildings demonstrate the quirky personality traits of their original residents like the Kolb Studio. Brothers Ellsworth and Emery Kolb arrived at the Grand Canyon in 1902, one year after the train came to the park. In 1904, they went right to work on building their home and studio near the head of this trail, and uh, the brothers became famous for their photographs of Grand Canyon visitors on mule rides, as well as their explorations of the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River. Between 1904 and 1926, Ellsworth and Emery expanded and rebuilt their studio with the upper level nestled on the canyon's rim. In 1924, the brothers had a big business argument and Ellsworth left the south rim of the canyon while Emery stayed at the park until his death in 1976 at the age of 95. The Kolb home is now called Kolb Studio, and it's a beautiful home with unbelievable views. It's a gift shop on the second level with a art studio in the uh, lower level. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. When you do, you're automatically enrolled in the next $50 gift card giveaway here on the New York channel. If you plan on visiting Vegas in the near future, check out the link below in the description. 50 things to do and tips while visiting Las Vegas. These paintings of the Grand Canyon are quite beautiful and they're quite pricey as well. They start at a couple thousand dollars and go up to twelve, thirteen, fourteen, as high as seventeen thousand dollars that I saw. And while I'm no expert, I believe these orange and magenta paintings are of the Impressionist style and uh, that one in front of us goes for twelve thousand dollars. When you think about it, it's kind of surreal. I have a surreal feeling just uh, knowing that I'm looking at beautiful paintings in a art gallery that's in a cabin that's over 100 years old, hanging off a cliff of the Grand Canyon with a gift shop upstairs.
Or as they say in the art world, it's not surreal, it's surrealism. I'm dying to know what's behind that door and up those stairs, and the fact that there's a do not enter sign makes me want to know even more. Back outside, I'm enjoying this nice crisp air, but uh, we're 9,000 feet above sea level, so the air is also very thin, so keep that in mind if you're hiking up here. Your body gets tired much more quickly up here because of the extra amount of work your muscles, heart, and lungs have to do to deal with the lesser amount of oxygen. And I mentioned we're 9,000 feet above sea level, and it's 18 miles to the other side of the canyon. This looks like the perfect time and place to pull up a boulder with a nice warm cup of coffee or hot chocolate and just take in the scenery for 15-20 minutes. Lots of people wonder why mules and not horses were used to get around in the canyon in the past and currently. I'm about to teach you a quick lesson about mules and no worries there's no quiz at the end. Mules are steady and more sure-footed than their horse counterparts. They're dainty steppers and take small, sure-footed steps, a quality that is immensely useful for rough terrains like this around the Grand Canyon. In addition to small steps, they put their rear feet in exactly the same spot where their front foot was, uh, and this leaves very little room for slipping errors. Also, mules don't spook easily. Even if they do, they just stop and refuse to move forward. Horses, on the other hand, when unnerved by terrains or heights, tend to buck and gallop away, often losing their footing and throwing their riders off balance. Mules are also more dependable creatures since they can carry a lot more weight, and it's no wonder that they're called the beasts of burden. It's amazing when you stand in front of a canyon as grand as this one, no pun intended, all sense of perception seems to go out the window. With no man-made objects like cars or tall skyscrapers, it's hard to comprehend how high things are, how deep things are, how wide things are. It's kind of like looking out over the open ocean and not knowing how far anything is or losing all concept of space until you drop a boat onto that picture and then it kind of puts things into perspective. Am I getting too deep? It might be the thin air.
And here we are at those cabins again. I know when I get back to work, there's going to be stressful days and stressful times. And the first thing that's going to come into my mind are these cabins. Another shout out to Wise Malik, who found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in Grand Canyon video number one. Congratulations, Wise Malik. All right, stay tuned for parts three and four of the Grand Canyon, and then we're back in the city of Vegas. So make sure you subscribe and watch the videos that are coming up. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.